Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Monster Hunter Rise High Rank Hub Advanced Guide. So here we have the Great Sword. One of the coolest looking weapons in the game is huge and it charges because, you know, metal charges. And when it charges to the third time, it bangs incredibly hard. But I gotta be honest. Starting out, it's very hard to hit something in this game with a fully charged Great Sword. So a lot of the time, it's, you know, you hit them when they're sleeping. But today, I'm going to fix all of that for you. I will give you the necessary tips and fundamentals to ensure that you'll be able to do this in the game so you can great sword hit at max charge versus any monster in motion right in the freaking head. Alright? And this is going to open up your great sword game to the next level and it will definitely allow you to survive any kind of high rank hub missions even solo level 6 level 7 tier 6 tier 7 it doesn't matter so if you would like to see other weapon tutorials in this game from me you can click on the card above or the link in the description below for uh, every weapon i have done in this game and before watching this one if you haven't seen the uh, basic great sword tutorial right there check out that one first because that one comes with important fundamentals also feel free to add my friend code right there so you can play together with me online and make sure to subscribe for more monster hunter rise content so when it comes to high rank uh, late game play with the great sword. Your goal is to do two specific tackles ASAP so you can trigger Rage Slash. And the two tackles you must do is a weapon drawn tackle into a strong charge tackle. And I'll break these down for you. But once you do those tackles, like you see there, you'll be able to trigger a Rage Slash, which is a switch skill, and it has 360 degree aim. And you will have access to this switch skill once you complete a high rank level 5 up. Great Sword quest that's going to be triggered once you get to that level. Make sure you complete that Great Sword quest so you can get this Rage Lash and this will open up your game. And make sure also gear wise I uh, have Slugger level 3 as your skill so this is very important. So when it's all combined together like that what you want to do is in game you want to get to the ideal tackle spots first which is the feet or the head and in this case I got to the feet and I did a weapon drawn tackle so I pushed my left stick at the target hit B and then tap X. And this is the animation that's gonna play out. I'm gonna roll and then tackle. So once this first tackle is done, I can then get into my strong charge slash tackle. The combo for that is once again, left stick at the target, hold X, and then tap A. So this is gonna trigger my second tackle. And now I can put in the rage slash input because I've done my two tackles. And to do so, left stick at the target, and then hold X. And then after, make sure to tap L. That sequence is going to put you into the Rage Slash charge animation and center the camera. Because tapping L is going to reset your camera to the center on the targeted monster. And you can target the monster before the a fight by just clicking R3 until you get to the monster you want. Oh, right, right there. And uh, you're going to hold X to the third charge, which is going to give you maximum da damage. And then push the left stick at the target and then let go of X to swing. But we can make that even better. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try our best to have power sheath activated, CL plus X, to buff our damage every single time before we do the two tackle rage slash combo. So you can see me do the power sheath right there. I'm gonna get to the feet or the head, whatever is closest. And then I'm gonna do the draw attack by tapping X because my weapon is sheathed after the power sheath. So that I'm gonna swing the sword. Now that my weapon is drawn, I can go to weapon drawn tackle, which is that first tackle I must do. In this case, I did L stick uh, away from the target and B, and then I hit X. So I rolled away, and then I tap X to tackle. So I rolled away from my spot, but if I roll away from it and tap X after, I'm going to get back to the same spot. It's okay if the tackle missed because I'm just using it to trigger the rage slash. Now I can get into my uh, strong charge slash animation by pushing the left stick at the target and hold X, and then to get ready to do my second tackle. But in this case, I didn't do the second tackle because... I see a free headshot right in front of me, so I'm just going to get into strong charge slash, let go as soon as I can, get a headshot. But obviously that breaks the two tackle sequence I have to do to get the rage slash, so I'm going to do it all over again. So I'm going to push the left stick forward, hit B and roll, and then I'm going to tap X and hold X to get back to my strong charge slash position. Right around the monster's head so I can do my tackles and get back to, you know, the rage slash. So you can see that play out, I get to my spot, I finish my first tackle. And with the monster behind me, I decided to tap L immediately to recenter the camera on the target before I do my second tackle. So now that it's centered, now I'm going to tap X and hold X. 
so that I can do my second tackle and then get into my rage slash, which I did right there. That's the second tackle. And then I'm going to hold X. And remember, not every tackle has to connect, right? I'm just using this for reposition and setting myself up to do the rage slash. So after the second tackle, I held X. So now I can use the rage slash 360 degree aim to hit the monster behind me. And I can see the monster because I centered the camera with tapping L. And when you're in rage slash, you can actually take normal hits while you're charging. And if that happens, it gives you a damage buff and there's no knockback. So I take the hit of my charge, get to the third charge, and then I'm gonna push the left stick at the target, and then let go, and swing away. That's very high damage. Like that sequence from the one before combined with this is one entire sequence. It was 1,055 damage, plus we get a knockdown, and we barely got hurt. Uh, on high rank solo play with the great sword, a key fundamental you have to understand is that facing the wrong way with tackles is a non-issue if you have rage slash, and you have to buy into this. Here you can see me, facing the wrong way, but rolling into the monster so to make sure the tackle hits. But I no longer have to face the correct way because the rage slash, I can aim 360 degrees, it's not a true charge slash. So you can see I turn my body around completely and hit to the opposite direction that I wasn't facing, right? And as you're doing all this tackling and swinging, immediately tap L if you don't see the monster because you might get yourself out of position camera-wise. If you tap L, once you've targeted the monster at the beginning of the fight, you would just swung right back to him. You won't face him, but you'll be able to see him. And another good method to do this to start is an air stab. So CL plus CR with your weapon sheathed. Aim above the monster. And once you get above the monster, tap CR. This is gonna unsheath your weapon and it's gonna bring your sword straight down. Now, once you're down, uh, push the left stick at the target and hold X. That's actually gonna push you into that strong charge slash animation. And here you can hit if you want but you can also tap a which would do a tackle and that tackle will actually put you into the rage slash animation but because we have level three stun in terms of skills a lot of these tackles all really add up and you can knock monsters down just by tackling because of that level three stun so use air stab to get to your spots right so weapon sheath do the cl plus cr get above the monster and then hold cr do a draw and stab down and uh, you can also push the left stick in any direction you want and hit B so you can dodge out of the ground step instead of charging. And then once you get to a spot you like, in this case, I tackle at the monster to cancel his attack. So this is a left stick plus B towards the monster, hit X. Right there, I cancel the attack. And that also put me into an ideal position. So here, I'm just gonna do my two tackles ASAP into Rage Slash. And this time, you can see it in real time without pausing to see what it looks like. So that's the weapon drawn tackle into the strong charge slash tackle. I'm into Rage Slash animation, right in the head. Third charge, line it up. 360 degree aim with camera center. So uh, obviously, you're gonna be fighting really up close. So the exit strategy to heal and reset is to use your power sheath uh, whenever you need to not only to buff yourself, but to just get out of the way like that. And you can go ahead and heal as much as you want. So in regards to your damage overall, from the draw slash into the strong charge slash into the rage slash, you can see it play out here. It gets to above uh, 692. So that's really not bad at all. And uh, here is just a detailed breakdown of the equipment used. So you can see I have the rage slash uh, switch skill. Make sure you get that. Level five uh, hub quest. Great sword quest and uh, in regards to the gear and skills here they are and biggest thing is uh, this is not end game end game build this is late game build but uh, it's just good to have the slugger so you can see these are all the gears I use and the decorations I use to uh, add to it it can get a little bit better later down the line but this set of armor especially the kisu is a very good start because you can get a Focus and Slugger, which helps you charge faster. And Slugger helps all of your tackles and hits just do more stunning. And since you're going for the head all the time, it helps. So if you want to see more tutorials, click on the card above or the link in the for the playlist in the description below. As always, thanks for coming by, and I'll speak to you again very soon.